put a little frosting on it, find somebody with a sweet tooth. This balsam tree must be a female. It looks like it has two X chromosomes in it. Look at that, grew right together. If I wouldn't have ate my lunch, that would have been perfect. 90,000. Oh, what are you sitting there for? Get on the trailer! We're finally going to sell a load of balsam since last winter. I figured out the trick is put a little frosting on it, find somebody with a sweet tooth, yeah, I don't think that's it. Almost lucky to get rid of it anymore. Not much of a market. Pinch the bucket between the two sticks and I'm gonna... Oh, this is, don't quite have enough power. <laughs> In the orbit. Wow, I almost got him apart. I came up to another block here to finish up my load and I knew balsam was heavier but I didn't think it was that much heavier. I didn't put near as much on as I put on spruce. I'm gonna have to take some off. I mean look at how much steak I've got sticking up in the front. Taking some back off. Oh there isn't very much on there. Man that is a light, light or heavy, smaller. Definitely heavier than spruce. Let's just put it that way. So I told you earlier that balsam's hard to get rid of. Or sell, I should say. So when I filled up my consumer scale ticket, I put species balsam! <laughs> hey, are you going to get a kick out of this? And I'm, I'm putting the ticket in the lockbox, so don't throw me in jail. Yes, I marked the load too. If I wouldn't have ate my lunch, that'd have been perfect. Ninety thousand. Oh, look like it looks like Cuddy spent a day forwarding here. Cuddy, you do a nice job. He unloaded the front half. I flip. I kicked the wet kit in or the PTO in. Flip the switch. She spins around so the seat's out of the way. And I shut it off. Start unloading again. Never got out of the truck. Truck shakes quite a bit when they grow. So here at the mill, after you get done unloading, you gotta sweep off. You gotta sweep off some of this frosting that fell off the load. Can't have that falling off on the highway. It's a safety hazard. So, trailer's gotta be clean before we leave. Is that where the mill goes to the bathroom? The bark they can't make into paper. Oh, I must have old man prostate. I'm down here getting a load of firewood. And they're loading up an Ecolog, Ecolog processor. I got an ASV or a Terex there with a brushing head. The power line crew here, Northern Clearing. And I have a truck with something on it sitting behind me. <laughs> kind of a cluster here. I just unloaded this load of firewood here and I got a weave between his buildings. He's got a lot of buildings <laughs> in his house and his truck. And yeah, it's. Uh, well, thank goodness I didn't have to back in here. My wife picked me up a new label maker because I broke the last one. I probably should label my lunchbox. But air cleaner lights, that's for the loader swing, the third axle lift, the lights on the loader. These are the backup lights in the trailer. And then I, I labeled the fog lights over here. One red Peterbilt. Jumping the other red Peterbilt. Uh oh, why am I trying to start this? At three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. Cause I'm gonna move a buncher, I think. 
I didn't have to move it today, but I'm gonna. Yeah, the truck doesn't have gas. It has a frozen airline somewhere. Probably on the water separator. Ah. I use the propane torch underneath there on the water separator fitting right there and the trucks acting like it did not go to Taco Bell right now uh, that was probably inappropriate Ooh. oh where's Emily oh wrong truck ah oh, it's on the truck on the Kenworth the other side of the black blue one with the frosting on it hey Timco Timco where are you at time to put you to work Wait a minute, you hibernated all summer? Isn't that backwards? Aren't you supposed to hibernate in the winter? There you are. Quit trying to hide on me. Now you've been a good girl. Fired right up. No ether, no nothing. Now, if you'll just be a good girl all winter, I'll appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to sell the limmer. Yeah, I already tried that on you once. The guy that was supposed to buy, not this one, but our 690 back here, he backed out. <laughs> I'm guessing there was a money issue, but whatever. Now another guy is interested. So, i take some pictures of it for him. I just sent off pictures of the limmers. Limmer. Let's go get this thing loaded up. <laughs> I hope the brakes aren't stuck on that low boy. And truck needs fuel. You'll probably see that in the next clip, huh? Or one of the next clips. All right, girl. Let's go get her done, huh? <laughs> I wish it was a little earlier in the day. It is going to be well past dark before I get this unloaded. See that iron sitting around? That's going to be putting the chase on me here. <laughs> That's why I'm moving so late on a Saturday so I can get a jump on things, I think. Well, she broke free. Perfect. I suppose I better put the green stuff in here today. Or the clear stuff, as they call it. See that? Kent says, of all the subscriptions he has, he watches my videos first. Wow, that's pretty cool, but nice try, Mom. I know it's you. Oh, what are you sitting there for? Get on the trailer. It's going to be dark here in a little bit. Come on. I'll give you a little treat. Come on. No? Ugh. Full. Thirsty girl. See that little locking pin? That's supposed supposed to pop up when I flip the switch. But it must be frozen. Dad got it. One more thing wrong. I'm trying something different, or something I've never tried before, and that's pouring this isopropyl in there. Look what it, it just melts that snow. That's why I'm afraid to drink this stuff. I'll be dehydrated. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Well, I'll be. It worked. I just stuck the little pry bar under there and it popped out. Maybe it's because I'm using too small a persuader. Maybe that's why it didn't come out. I spit all over it. Well, I didn't really. And this video is brought to you by Howes Lubricants. Please, no it's not. I had a heck of a time backing the sanding truck up on here. Track machines don't like icy low boys. Yeah, just another thing I was fighting. The ramps are froze. So I was using the head to catch the ramps. <laughs> I'm not talented enough to hold, hold the phone and... Catch, catch the ramp and 
not even close to talented enough to die. God. Next, what do you put in your fuel? Now looky there. I <laughs> can't really see it. It's a little dark. Time to unload it. There's somebody down there fooling around, probably wondering what I'm doing back here. But you know how this works. You kind of half block a road, and then a road that hasn't seen traffic all day will see 20 vehicles. We put new LED headlights in this low boy truck. That's low beam, high beam. Holy smokes, what a difference, huh? Yeah, you'll find them in my Amazon account. What? I don't have anything like that. Well, let's drive her in here. I can't, well, I suppose they could. There's a berm of, of course, woody debris up here. But I'm not going to go through that. I'm just going to park it right up in here a little bit. And try to tuck her away and give her a rest tomorrow because tomorrow's Sunday. I'm scared of the dark. I hope that 400 pound squirrel doesn't find me. And I suppose it's close to an hour back to the shop. And I got about another 40 minute drive back to my house. So I better get going. I'm unloaded. I'm ready to roll. Here comes a car. Well, it's only 20 to 7 on Saturday night. I should have time to go work on that snowplow for Dad. And then uh, do some other stuff and go home. My old personal pickup's been sitting up here at the shop for whew, more than a month, month and a half. Started right up, but I'm going to leave the truck here and take this home now. Well, it looks like I'm leaving the shop late, 8.48, but that's not true. <laughs> My pickup's been up here so long, I haven't changed the uh, daylight savings yet. So, I'm heading home. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.